Hi, I'm Father Anthony Hannon from Infant Patches, and this is to prepare his way. And there's Vicar. Today is July the 16th, 2021, and today the Vatican released a document, an apostolic letter, that has been long anticipated, or perhaps a better word would be dreaded, concerning the parameters which a Catholic priest can offer the 1962 Latin Mass, commonly referred to as the traditional Latin Mass, but I like to say 1962 to just to be very specific about what that is. Okay, um, it is a modo proprio, which means on his own authority. That means that it's not like it's a consensus of all the uh, bishops around the world. Um, it's just on his own authority. Now, many were fearing that it would be a revocation of Pope Benedict XVI's modo proprio, giving all Catholic priests around the world um, the go-ahead to offer the 1962 Latin, Latin Mass without explicit permission from his bishop. Now, I do think that there's going to be all sorts of headlines today and in the days to come about this document saying, uh, for example, that a priest has to get authorization from his bishop to offer this Mass, and though, as though it is, is a, a limiting of the 1962 Mass. And I'd like you to look at the document and see that it does not actually say that. Now, when you read it, or reread it after this video, I'd like you to you know, consider these three things, these three verbs in, in English. Now, of course, the official, uh, you know, the official translation would be the Latin, but uh, I'm not a Latin scholar. I'll leave it up to any of you to go to the original Latin to see if the translation into English was good or not. But these are the three words that I'd like you to consider, the three concepts. May, should, and must. Now, the word may means a person could do it or not do it. The word should means he ought to do it. It's like it's the proper thing to do. Uh, not necessarily um, a, a moral should, but at least an etiquette should. And uh, it could be a moral, uh, a moral imperative, but it's not necessarily. And then must means a person would have to do it. Now, the word may is not in the document, as far as I can see. Um, but it is implied in many ways, because a bishop could implement the, uh, you know, the ideas in this uh, apostolic letter um, you know, in ways that he would see f best for his own diocese. So that's, there's, you know, there, there's leeway there. Um, the word must is not explicit in the English translation either, although um, there are musts there. Uh, that is where, when it says, a uh, diocesan bishop is to, a diocesan bishop is to establish places where the 1962 Mass is offered, designate. Okay, then he has to do that. A bishop is to, uh, I think it says is, it might say should, but is to um, uh, appoint a delegate priest to oversee the 1962 Latin Mass within his diocese. Okay, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I, I know none of us like, you know, to have anyone kind of looking over our shoulders or micromanaging what we're doing from a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but, you know, this could be a real safeguard. It says that such a delegate priest should be uh, proficient in Latin, and proficient in the rubrics of the 1962 Mass. Now, I, I think uh, it would have been better if it said must be, but it says should, you know, realizing that maybe in any given diocese, um, there may not be a priest who is uh, really that proficient in Latin or in the rubrics of the 1962 Mass. So they have to leave a little bit of leeway there for the bishops when they tell them they have to do something. With regards to priest to offer that Mass, the word is repeatedly should. He should seek his bishop um, to get authorization to offer the Mass. It doesn't say he has to. It says that he should. So I hope that uh, clarifies things for everyone. Uh, there's no use getting our blood boiling uh, prematurely or unnecessarily. I realize that, yes, many could um, interpret this in, in certain ways, an individual bishop, for example, could, uh, you know, possibly, um, you know, put a chokehold on the 1962 Mass. I don't think that's going to happen, but, um, 
let's not help those who would want to um, destroy or damage the church and her uh, beautiful liturgies. Um, not, let's not help them by, 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 by either spreading the word that priests are more restricted. I don't think really that is what the document actually says. Okay, may Almighty God bless each and every one of you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.